Have you ever wondered if you could build a stylish and sturdy tank stand all by yourself? Well, today, we're going to answer that question and more. Welcome to our channel, where we dive deep into DIY projects that transform your living space. In this video, I'm going to show you how to build a custom tank stand for your Fiji Cube 32 gallon rimless AIO Nano Aquarium. Let's get started. Are you ready to elevate your aquarium game with a custom tank stand? In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to build a stylish and sturdy stand for your Fiji Cube 32 gallon rimless AIO Nano Aquarium. We'll cover the total cost, the materials you'll need, and most importantly, how to ensure your stand is rock solid and safe. Let's dive in. But before we dive into the building process, you might be wondering, do I need any special tools for this project? Stick around and I'll explain everything you need to know. To kick things off, let me share a quick story. I decided to build my own tank stand when I realized the vendor was going to charge me $424 for a tank stand. I didn't want to overspend, but I also didn't want to compromise on quality. After some research and a few trips to the hardware store, I found the perfect balance. So how much will it cost to build this DIY tank stand? Here's a breakdown of what you can expect to spend on materials. Wood. $51.36 for 8 2 by 4 by 10 which I found you only need 6 for this build. Screws and hardware, $10.97 for Deckmate 2 and 1 half inch long screws. Paint and finish, zero cost at this time until I figure what I want to do. Tools, if needed. Zero cost, because I have the drill and the saw. In total, you're looking at around $50 to $100, depending on the tools you already have. Not bad for a custom stand, right? Now, let's talk about materials. I remember standing in the aisle, surrounded by different types of wood, screws, and paint, feeling overwhelmed. But with a clear plan, it all came together smoothly. Here's what you'll need for this project. Two by four by 10 lumber quantity, six wood screws deckmate two and one half inches. Make sure to select high quality wood to ensure the stability and durability of your stand. Safety and stability are key. I once heard a horror story about a tank stand collapsing and causing a huge mess. That's why I want to share the crucial steps to ensure your stand is sturdy and secure. Here's how to do it right. Accurately measure and cut your wood pieces. You will need four pieces cut at 24 inches for the top front, top back, bottom front, bottom back. You will need four pieces cut at 17 inches for the left side top, left side bottom, right side top, right side bottom. You will need four pieces cut at 29 inches for the stand height, but you can make the height to your liking. I made it this to my liking because it is the same height as my computer desk. This way, I can just look over and enjoy the tank. Now, for the most crucial part, the corners. You will need eight pieces cut at 22 inches long to fit the corners to support the weight of the tank. I hope this makes sense. If not, please don't hesitate to leave a comment so we can help you with your tank stand build. Assemble the frame. Use wood screws to assemble the frame. Lay out two of the 24 inch pieces front and back. Lay out two of the 17 inch pieces on the left and right side. The 17 inch pieces will go on the inside of the 24 inch pieces. Now screw in the front of the 24 inch piece into the 17 inch piece front and back. You will now have the first frame built and ready to put your 29 inch height pieces on in the inside of the frame. Please note that I did this on level concrete so you get a flat level surface to build on. Screw in the 29 inch height pieces into the bottom frame from the inside to hide the screw heads. Once you finish screwing in all four legs, you're ready for the top frame. Screw the top frame, the same as the bottom frame, on a level surface. Since I was building by myself, I took framing clips to hold the top frame in place so I can screw the legs into the top frame. Just a little tip and helpful advice. Now, you have a completed skeleton frame for your stand, but you're not quite done. We need to add the supports for the weight of the tanks on the corners. Take the 22 inch pieces, which you have eight of and two of them, go on each corner. Take your time and be sure they line up with your edges of the frame, which will make it more pleasing to the eye. By following these steps, you can be confident that your stand will hold up your aquarium safely. 
feeling inspired to build your own tank stand? Remember, a beautiful aquarium deserves a solid foundation. If you're looking for more DIY aquarium projects or tips on aquarium maintenance, check out my other videos. Let's keep building together. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon for more DIY goodness. Thanks for watching and happy building.